Hi, it's Josh Gerlow from DirtyMarketingSecrets.com. Welcome to another episode of Deconstructing Direct Mail. On today's episode, I have the pleasure of deconstructing the famous dollar bill mailer. I believe it was first made famous from Gary Halbert. Don't quote me on that one. Uh, but I received it from none other than Frank Kern. That's right. I received this last summer from Frank Kern. I buy all his products. I'm on his list. So it was a very targeted mailer. And I am excited to break this thing down on video for you guys right now. So, as always, let's get started. Okay, so let's start. Here's a photo with me and Frank Kern at one of his events. Uh, for those of you who don't know who Frank Kern is, he is, I like to say, the Richard Branson of internet marketing. He's very well liked in the internet marketing community, been around for quite some time. He is a master of influence, a master of copywriting, best known for his products, Mass Control 2.0, Mass Control, and List Control. So those are just some of his products. I own all of them and I think his products are great. So that said, the objective of his dollar bill mailer was to get people to register for a $97 strategy session. Now here's what the envelope looked like. Here's what the sales letter looked like. Now this was a seven page sales letter, so it was quite long. And this thing was packed with all kinds of goodness. So let's go through it right now. First thing, on the envelope, he had handwritten addresses. And check this out. Look at the return address. International House of Ninjas. So you can imagine my face as I picked up this oversized envelope and saw International, International House of Ninjas as a return address. I was like, what the heck is this? Next, he had crooked stamps. So he didn't run this through a, a postage machine or a postage meter. It was crooked stamps on the envelope. Next, the sales letter. Check it out. It really stands out. It has a freaking dollar bill attached to the front of it. It's got great copy that ties in the dollar bill. And then it tells a story. So this is a seven-page sales letter. Now, I'm not going to go through every page with you just for sake of time, but I'm going to touch on the important points. If you opened up the dollar bill or you took the dollar bill off, here's the headline. Read this immediately because it directly affects you you with the word you in all caps now look at the the highlighted uh, copy that ties in with this dollar bill now i actually highlighted this myself with my yellow pen but let me read it to you it says dear friend yes this looks like a classic gimmicky sales letter complete with a dollar bill attached to it yeah i know there's a dollar bill stapled to the top and so forth and i just put that there to get your attention but even with that said this is not a sales letter in fact, it might actually lead to me giving you money. So how do you like that piece of copy? I think it's brilliant. It ties in that dollar bill nicely. Now the copy of this letter, it goes through five pages of copy. It tells you exactly, it gives the, here's what I've got, here's what it'll do for you, and here's what I want you to do next. So three important points you should always have in any copy that you're doing, any copy that you're writing, any direct mail that you're sending. It addresses three these three points in this seven page sales letter. Next, it has, it's broken down by bolded, um, um, basically copy points. You know, they're almost like headlines throughout the letter. So this first one, and this is actually on page five of the letter. I guarantee you will make money as a result of this strategy session. So remember, his whole point of this letter was to get you to register for a $97 strategy session. So basically he's saying, hey, I guarantee you're gonna make money. Next, I will send you $200 by PayPal as soon as you hang up the phone. So this is actually on the same page. And the third, here's what I want you to do next. So he is coming right out and telling you. He's saying, hey, here's what I want you to do next. And I see this missed on so many direct mail pieces that I receive. Nobody tells the person that's reading it what they want them to do next. So just think about that. The next time you're doing direct mail, explicitly tell them, say it. Here's what I want you to do next. It has deadlines and scarcity. So you'll see this. Notice number one, this offer expires on August 24th. Notice number two, you need to be available for your strategy session. If you're not, they'll forfeit the slot and they'll return you $97. Pretty nice, guys. Notice number three, this letter is going out to a small segment of my best customers, right around 1,000 people. 
So now he's starting to build in the scarcity. And then you'll see right underneath that in bold italics, we can only grant 30 strategy sessions. They're granted on a first come, first serve basis. So he's got his offer, his $97 offer. He's guaranteeing it for you. Basically, it's a, your double your money back guarantee. You. He'll pay you $200. He's giving an expiration date of August 24th, and he's making it scarce by saying, hey, he's only got 30 sessions to grant. So anytime you're doing your own direct mail marketing, you need to be thinking about these things. Your offer, your deadline, your scarcity. How are you going to include that in your own marketing? Now, he has this skip to the end clause, which I really like. I'm starting to see this on more and more big name marketers direct mail. So you'll see here, sincerely, Frank Kern. P.S. If you're skimming to the P.S., here's the deal. I'm offering you a personal strategy one-on-one -on -one session with me and or my partner, Kevin. We'll walk you through it and show you how to implement it. So this was page six of the sales letter at the very end. Now, there's one last page. Let's go there right now. The last page, this is the very top. It says it's a guarantee and it restates what you get. So it's a $97 session, comes with double your money back guarantee, and we're only taking 30 people. The offer expires August 24th. So think about this for a second. Anytime you're doing direct mail, how many times at the very end of, if it's a sales letter, did you restate what that person's getting? Did you restate what your guarantee was? Did you restate when the offer expired? You always need to do that, especially in this case, if you're writing a seven page sales letter, you need to let these people know exactly what they're gonna get, what the guarantee is, and what the offer is. So I hope I did this seven page sales letter and Frank Kern at least a little bit of justice. He's one of my favorite internet marketers of all time. Um, and I'm, I'm glad I had the privilege of actually receiving his letter, let alone breaking it through on video. So uh, it's a perfect letter. There's really any, not anything he can improve on. Uh, I mean, he doesn't have to add testimonials. He doesn't have to add social proof because I'm already a buying customer. I've already bought his products. I love his products. So he doesn't need to add that stuff. It's got everything in here that makes it a grand, a, a really good sales letter, and it gets noticed. And keep in mind the vessel that he sent this in. It was simply a white oversized envelope with handwritten return address and crooked stamps. So think about that the next time you're doing your own direct mail. I hope you enjoyed that. Let's go through a couple takeaways real fast. Takeaway number one is always have a very targeted mailer. So for example, Frank Kern, I have bought his products. I'm a customer of Frank Kern's. I like his stuff. So he is mailing me his direct mail piece. Takeaway number two, get noticed. What he did was put a dollar bill, there you go, on the front of his mailer. So when I open this, I see a dollar bill. The first thought is, what the heck is this thing? And takeaway number three, always have an awesome guarantee on your mailers. So on Frank Kern's mailer here, he does double your money back guarantee. How can you beat that one? And plus, it's coming from Frank Kern. So that's it for this episode of Deconstructing Direct Mail. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next week.